and we hear this air raid and like what is that? None of the 27 people in Grace's church group touring Israel knew what was going on, but quickly everyone was guided to a shelter. At the time, you can't even comprehend what's going on. I really turned it over to the Lord because, you know, he's in control of everything. And um, I just knew that he had me in his hands. Then sings my soul. This moment of prayer and praise while taking refuge as the sound of intercepted airstrikes rang out demonstrates how this tour group from Oak Point Church in Novi was guided by faith when they found themselves in a country under attack. We were in a safe place. We were in a shelter and knowing that other people are not is, um, that's where your heart really goes. You know, you just think, who are we that we get this shelter um, where other people are out in the open? But so just really praying for them, almost even, you know, more than for us. Eventually they made their way to Jordan to fly out. One of the most pivotal places uh, was actually right when we were at the border between the West Bank and um, Israel. Um, that was the border that needed to open for us to go through and we waited a good two plus hours there and weren't being allowed to go through. So once that border opened, it felt like that was the start to our journey home. Really felt like a miracle. But even with that, as we're driving in the West Bank, we got um, pulled over. Um, so that was a little nerve wracking, you know, you're like, oh, why are we getting pulled over with people with machine guns? And this is amazing. Church family was waiting for them close to midnight, Wednesday into Thursday after the group finally touched down in Detroit. When they saw us, they, you know, my mom was crying and my dad's like, oh, are you going to write a book? And I'm like, oh, dad. <laughs> my mother-in-law ran right up to me first thing and gave me a big kiss on the cheek. and was just so happy to see me. <laughs> so it was, it was a real blessing. Their thoughts now with the innocent people caught in the middle of a conflict. We just need to pray for that country, praying that other countries will come alongside and, and, and really provide aid to help them. Hillary Golston, Fox 2 News.